basic sorgonomics mike sorg at sorgatron on the twitter as well as my lovely wife and business partner missy here with us hello hello Ooh, i need to turn the exposure up on your camera a little bit it looks like a little dark over there oh it, I, it fits for my dark and dreary and yeah a little bit a little morning. Bit. i forgot to readjust from the uh, bold mornings we did yesterday yes yes, yes. bold mornings bold mornings I'm gonna get in the dj mode for that yes bold morning <laughs> <laughs> who is currently looking for for some uh sponsors yeah yeah, yeah. well I don't know, that was a really good reaction we've gotten from that show so far so it was a morning show concept uh, of, of bold pittsburgh uh you've been co-hosting with with amanda yes. and sissy um and having fun with that mm -hmm. so yeah uh, i'm a content provider over at bold and when we talked about doing when we got into the space we, we were talking about doing a morning show and Amanda loved the idea, and she's like, we could do that as like a bold morning, what to do during the week in Pittsburgh, because mm -hmm. their bold nights out mm -hmm. covers nightlife. And really, like I say, we're, we're kind of pushing it as a morning show concept. Yeah. And, you know, uh, some, uh, something that we want to do, and it's one of the reasons we do basic sorgonomics, so, you know, there's a chance that when people walk by, they see us recording in the morning as well, not just at night <laughs> until lights on at 11 o'clock. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also looking at logistics to, you know, get a street cam view out there. So yeah, that get a street cam. I got to rework it a little bit now since we got the new hardware, which hopefully has been looking better in the last week. Well, between the street cam as well as what we were talking about with the, like, visual for outside, people can see, mm -hmm. like, a, a screen. Yeah. Similar to the stuff for, like, Good Morning America. And yeah, yeah. That, I mean, they're, 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 that's kind of the idea. You know, let's get a Good Morning Beach view. We're kind of working on the concept. We're working out the, uh, you know, with uh, with bold, bold Mornings to see how that works. And, and getting good response to that. Like I said, um, I know Mobile Nom was uh, uh, responding yesterday, the new food truck app. So, and, and that's kind of uh, the kind of, I mean, that's the reason we have a space like this is to do stuff like that and, and kind of be up front. And out front, and, and there's a lot of people peeking in, I know, that were coming in uh, because we have a church right next to us. And, of course, they were having uh, services while we were recording. Uh, so they got to see us uh, have some activity, I guess, while, uh, you know, while they were transitioning out of that. Yes. So. Lots of activity. People are getting the last hurrah in before we start getting into some fun weather. So oh, people are doing as much as they can outside. And it's, it's great because they walk by and look and see. So. And also in the winter months, it'll be a little more dreary, which means they'll be able to see more that's happening in here. True. Because it's, it's very reflective out there. Oh, very, very, especially when it's very bright it's out there. It's kind of like we have blinds <laughs> to a point, a little bit of privacy despite the, the giant window. Yes. Um, and then it turns a, a stark contrast in the evenings. Mm -hmm. When where you, you can see literally everything. see everything in here. And it is, it, it's interesting, especially last night when we had our, our wrestling party, or our, our pay-per-view party, and there's just, like, people sitting here watching wrestling, and there's people walking by, and like, what the hell is this? Like, you know, it would feel, like I said, it feels like we put our living room on a main street. Like, but Pretty it's, much. But in a good way, uh, you know? Like there, there but was getting attention. There was a dude walking by last night, and he stopped because he was watching the TV. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't know if he's a wrestling fan or, or what, but, like, he stopped, and he was legit right. watching the TV. And, I, you know, maybe that's one of those things. I don't know, I don't know how public I want to make the, hey, everybody will just walk on in and watch wrestling with us, because I think that turns into a little bit of a logistic problem, like, you know, for public display and things like that. But... Um, but no, it's, um, you know, I, I really like the response there and we've had like neighborhood people coming over for things like that. Uh, I actually just posted on Facebook, the guy, uh, the tattoo of the guy that came over, you knew he's one of us because he has a wrestling ring and a, 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 uh, lucha mask amongst other things. And this like montage on his, on his shoulder. And it's pretty awesome. Like I, I was uh, talking with him, he came in, I'm just like, that's a wrestling ring. Keep creeping under his, his sleeve and i didn't ask about it at first but he you know he, he kind of showed it off later and that was awesome and that's like the kind of cool stuff that we get to do we had a really big uh, community day yesterday between the coffee and the recordings that we had and 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 uh pay-per-view party i was at kennywood and you were at kennywood <laughs> i was at kennywood <laughs> you're at kennywood and you got me um you got me the um faux tato patch fries faux tato patch fries faux tato patch fries <laughs> Because uh, they were not the potato patch fries, because the potato patch, I don't think, uh, that part of the, the park, I think, was closed off since they were focusing on, like, kid stuff. Yeah. And tried to find 
something that that would fit the bill and stopped at the barbecue like little barbecue place that they have in there which was really good don't mind you know it had a burger and it was amazing and they had loaded fries so it was fries cheese bacon more cheese as you do it just wasn't the same as potato patch no no but it was definitely your 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 um fill of greasy and your greasy and pato- pato- potato potato i guess oh yeah i mean it was it was heavenly but it wasn't quite as heavenly as the potato patch so faux pa- faux potato patch <laughs> <laughs> awesome um so i mean you know other than kind of recap and, and i feel like we're going to do this a lot of like hey this is what we did yesterday but you want to talk about kind of forging your own path and that's really kind of what we end up with 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 like yesterday you know i mean this is a lot of the the, the path that we're trying to hit up here in this kind of community and everything well and that's that's been kind of our discussion for the past couple of days mm-hmm. um a little bit uh a little bit tense in those discussions i'll i'll admit but in a good way i mean we have different opinions on on s- certain things and it, it makes it a little bit difficult as far as that's concerned mm-hmm. however uh it's interesting to to look at things because why reinvent the wheel there are things in place there are you know aspects of of certain things that we can adopt from people who've already done them tried them gotten it to a point where it works for them however you've got to personalize that for your own circumstances absolutely and i think that's what we're doing with what we're trying to do with it is we're not reinventing the wheel we're just reshaping it and we're reshaping it to fit our standards and our needs mm-hmm. as far as it's concerned right because i think uh, you know uh, we're we're not your typical podcast network or anything like that and we're kind of figuring we kind of have the things we built and we invited in a lot of people to to grow that network as a whole you know to do bigger things basically right yeah you know and, and of course the the big m word comes up of monetization you know but it really it is you know making a business out of a lot of this stuff and also helping others do things a better way you know too um kind of disseminating our knowledge like a, a little bit with our uh, with our uh, uh clients right oh, absolutely and like the question becomes like we're looking at some of the other networks in the area mm-hmm. when we're doing our thing yeah because you're always you always keeping up and say oh okay i see what you did there oh i like how they're doing that you yeah, know and, and and also the other networks also kind of hit different other social aspects too yeah and like you said i think the biggest thing is is that you know when you know, Epicast, for instance, is is another local network. When they started, they started as a podcast network. Like that was their thing. They mm-hmm. they wanted to build this podcast base. They wanted to do right. podcasts. And very much around comedy. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, they were they were niched as it far was as it was that a was great concerned. base for them. Absolutely. We, on the other hand, have kind of we've been <laughs> doing our in house podcast we stuff built on pro wrestling. <laughs> yeah, a- and the thing is, is that. You did the Wrestling Mayhem show as the Wrestling Mayhem show. Mm-hmm. Then you were like, ooh, I want to talk tech. So we did the Awesome Cast. Mm-hmm. Then we were like, uh, people aren't really liking the indie wrestling discussions that we're having, so we're going to split out the indie wrestling stuff, mm-hmm. and we're g- we've got the Indie Mayhem show. So th- everything grew and evolved and, and, and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. so organically, ours has kind of grown into a network mm-hmm. just because we have over a dozen podcasts between – our in-house content, as well as the stuff that we've brought to the and network, and you like the scare house and I don't even think I don't even think your list included things like midweek war and raw wrap up. No, either. no, no, because like those I those I lump under the. Those are kind of I, I still consider them kind of oddball satellite podcasts that we do, right? Like we're not putting music on them or anything. They're like very down and dirty kind of thing. Although we're looking at potentially upgrading that in, in the near future, including I, I don't know. There was a logo on this week's show. Soon there will be some graphics and music. See, this is the things that I learn and how I learn them <laughs> because I didn't realize that that was the thing that was happening. I knew that we have them. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize that you were developing them. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> developing so. as in they're on the list to do. I remember them when we sit down and record. I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to do that thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, again. But it's also part of the evolution of like the hardware upgrades we've had too. So now those are things that we can start cycling in and you know, kind of be a, a fuller package when we do things like Facebook Lives. Is kind of the idea that I'm working with over here on the technical side. So, 
but just something and also something that kind of makes it easier because ideally um, on a technical side like you know what do I do for wrestling man show and awesome cast I record those things with no intros outros like music or anything and I drop those in and, and edit them clean it up a little bit and put it out you know versus we really just take what we record with things like the raw wrap of the midweek war this um, and just spit it back out as is mm-hmm. as what we did raw on Facebook live because we think that's good enough quality. We're, we're going to stand by that quality of what we do on Facebook Live uh, and say, well, this can just be redistributed, right? And not have to put a, do a lot of tinkering to it or anything like that. Um, so if we kind of step that up a bit and say, hey, we can put a file in here, a graphic, a, a, an animation, music, and that's something that we can cue in from, that's already there. We don't have to take it into Final Cut and do that thing and and put the music to it and, and, and line that up or anything like that so one it streamlines the process which is again something that we have then become experts in and can can do for our clients right um and it makes all the products across the board start looking a little bit better which is always my concern is to keep upping that quality of what we're currently doing as well and then spread that across the network that's just kind of my internal workings of how I do things. Oh, oh she's yes. <laughs> You're just like, what is wrong with your head? No, this is this is your crazy wall. This is my crazy. My it's crazy wall is up all up here. Your crazy wall is stuck in your head. Mm-hmm. At least mine is out. You're tangible saying I on need a piece to, of paper. I need to <laughs> physically out. You don't want. I need a bigger wall. Well, uh, here's 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 <laughs> the difference. Is my favorite part of all of this mm. is that it's all in your head. And then you come to talk to me about it, and you assume that I am aware of what's going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, it is a head. problem because I've been having meetings in my head, <laughs> and then I start bringing up something. I realize that Missy wasn't invited to the meeting, um, but it's the point where I need to get her opinion <laughs> on the meeting. So I'm outsourcing from my internal head meetings to her, and then she gets confused. Yeah, because you, you, you legit, you're like. We've had this conversation. I'm like, no, we haven't. Maybe you have, but I've not. That's right. It's <laughs> like, it, what, what did I say? What did I say last week that really was applicable? It was like, am I tired or insane? Yes. Because things were starting to get weird for me in those right in like six nights where I got like four hours of sleep with everything going on. We need to not do that. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, um, but no, absolutely. But if we, but th- again, this is all. But we're also like, we're inventing. We're trying not to reinvent the wheel when it comes to certain things, but we're also trying to do something new and different. Well, and that's the thing is the wheel doesn't necessarily fit our model. No. So we need to adapt the wheel to fit our model. Right, exactly. I and that's where I, I think that's where we come in pretty well with it is we've been able to adapt and change things as technology and mm-hmm. as you know social media and such has changed to accommodate certain th- features and aspects. And I think that's where we come in differently than others because we have a certain set of um, expertise in how we do shows and how we produce things and the space availability and the quality that we're doing. It's, that's upgrading the quality here in, in the studio, um, upgrading you know that output that goes out to everybody. Um, and, and I think that's really important. I think that's, that's the thing that sticks out for us as we're forging our own path, right? Yes. So, yes. Yes. But nothing else to add to that. Nope. Nope. Well put. Yep. Thank you. Meh. Crazy wall. Crazy wall starting to come out a little bit. In my head. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you're you're off on a tangent. I'm just like nap time, please. You're right. <laughs> right. Oh, and those getting those early mornings in. Gotta get those calls. And then and then that's uh you know, getting that uh, Monday morning. What does the week look like back into the schedule too, for us? Yeah, like this, <laughs> this, this was essentially our Monday morning. Yeah, like yeah. Meeting, 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 meeting with a client was the first kickoff thing. Uh, then general meeting. We're doing our basics ergonomics now, and then I've got a task list of things based on those meetings that I'm working on for the next couple of days. So, yeah. Alrighty, excellent, excellent. Well, uh, if you guys want to see everything that's going on, of course, uh, we start off uh, uh, the rest of the podcasting for the week with uh, the raw wrap of tonight on the Wrestling Mayhem Show page. And uh, we will also be putting the state of the show out for Awesome Cast and uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's going to be recording later today if you guys are on the Patreons for that. 
Uh, and we do encourage you guys to support those shows if you do enjoy it. And also, please share anything uh, this or, or anything else that's going on uh, across your networks. So you can subscribe to the Basic Sorgonomics on your iTunes or wherever you like to get your podcasts. And, of course, we're also putting the videos on YouTube if you like to do that, too. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, Missy. Smiles. Smiles. Oh, you can't hear the smiles. No, can't, can't hear the smiles okay. so much. Yes, smiling. There you go. Catch us on the Instagrams and stuff. This is Basic Sorgonomics. We'll see you next time. And fade out. Oh.